Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. This channel is all about helping you become a better web developer slash designer through code. In this example, I wanna talk about how we create in Bootstrap using grids to affect design. The grid is one of the most powerful tools in Bootstrap. In my previous videos, I explained how to set up a container and how to set up Bootstrap in general, which I'll link down below inside of the description of this video. But this video is all about using the grids in Bootstrap. And with that, let's get started. All right, so we're focusing on the grid system. So what does the grid look like? Well, we wanna focus on columns. And in Bootstrap, we talk about a 12 column system. So let's go ahead and actually apply these columns to our design. Inside of my HTML, CSS, in the previous video, I added colors to designate breakpoints in my design. That's great, we watched them, but we don't need them. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this all out. Save, refresh, and we're good to go. So what we have to do is we have to bring in columns, but for the columns to work, we have to designate a row. So what I wanna do is back in my HTML, we'll come back to the CSS later. In the HTML, I'm gonna take out hello world for right now. I'm gonna say div class row to designate this row I'm gonna say div class call and say column one and I'll paste it. Or actually I should copy it first, then I'll paste it and I'll say column two. Let's take a look and see how it happens. Notice I have column one and column two. Just like magic, it's side by side. And if I move it, it'll move based upon the responsive design. This is the basic settings of columns. If I don't designate anything to these columns, if you think about it, let's pretend that this is 100%. There we go. So imagine the row is 100% or 12 out of 12 because we're working on a 12 column grid. Whenever I put this column in, so if I say, Take that out and bring it in, column one. This column equates to 12 out of 12 or 100%. If I put a second column in or if I undo that, now this becomes 50% or six out of 12. So down here, whenever I just write the word call, it's gonna split it into whatever fractions there are. So if I have three columns, let's add a third column right here. Call, 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 this is gonna equal 33%, 33%, and 33%, or four out of 12, four out of 12, and four out of 12. Now I have, oops, <laughs> it helps if I say column three in this case right here. So just like that, I have a three column system inside my container and they do get bigger or smaller depending upon what's going on. And if we wanna also see these colors or see them move, we can add a custom CSS. Let's write red box and say background color red. We're gonna create a green box and say background color green and we'll create a purple box. Note that I'm also writing a period before each one to designate that they're gonna be class names. Purple box and we'll say background color purple. So I wanna set these inside my columns just so we can see how they move. So what I wanna do is inside this area, class, I'm gonna say green box. 
What else do I have? Green box, red box, purple box. Green box, red box, and purple box. Save. And if I come over here, note how they work. And they adjust, notice how they get bigger and smaller based upon that container framework. That's great, but what if I wanna make column two a little wider than column three? And just because I can't really read column three's text, let's do some extra change. In the custom CSS, let's say color white because to me, I can't really read that and probably also the green box as well. So I will say color white and refresh. Perfect. Now what I have are three columns of information. So they're pretty basic only because they're just cut up as a one third, one third, one third. But what if I wanna change column two to say, let's make it six out of 12 columns and the rest be three. So what I wanna do is I wanna make column two be six out of 12 or 50%. So what I'm gonna do is instead of saying just call, I'm gonna say call SM6 and watch what happens to that middle column. When I save, come up and refresh, notice how much bigger that middle column got. The next two will adjust accordingly to the sizes. But just because I wanna make this all succinct, I have to equal 12 because again, it is 12. So if this is six in here, I have to say three, three, or 25%, 50%, 25%. So I wanna say call SM, oops, call dash SM three and call dash SM dash three. What this means is that I'm saying the column smaller or, <laughs> that makes sense, smaller or bigger than the small size, keep it three out of 12. This size smaller or bigger than the small make it six out of 12 and the rest be three. Now the reason why those look the same is those were both three and three. But if I were to say four and two, now they're kind of adjusted. As long as you stick with 12 out of 12 in the columns, note how four, six, two equals 12. But here's where the magic really happens. Note I said small. Well, there's one size below the small, and that's the extra small, or basically a mobile framework. So watch this. If I refresh this page, as it gets smaller and smaller, it's gonna hit the small right about there, but the minute I go to extra small, poof, there it is. Notice how they stack amongst each other. And we can see that flip-flop back and forth. That's because the columns, am I on the right framework? Let's scroll down here. Work in small and extra small. What that extra small does is it doesn't have a max container width, which means it goes right to auto or 100%. Now what I could also do is I could say call MD and then say below the medium, the small or extra small go to auto. So watch this. So what I can do is if I set MD, 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 notice how the medium size all of a sudden went to vertical and it still went extra small as well. And you go from extra large to large to medium, and now it goes 100% across the screen. It does hold the sides on medium because it assumes it's gonna have space on either side 
until it gets to the mobile side and then it becomes perfectly aligned to the edges. And this is how the mediums can work or I can go back to smalls. So notice how these are all smalls. But let's say we want our mediums to be all the same size. Let's say, or let's make even the large. What if we want the large to be all the same size and as it gets smaller, oops, come back here. Where'd I go? I clicked on the down arrow. I wanna make them all be small, 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 but I wanna set larges to be all the same. I can write multiple column sizes by saying call LG and we'll make them all the same. So we'll say 444. So what I can do is, since they're all the same, I'm gonna copy and I'll copy as well. And now I have call, 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 large, 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 444. Check this out. Now they're all the same on large, but until it hits the small, now column two became larger. If it doesn't have a set size, it'll defer to the top one until it hits the very bottom, and then the extra small all becomes one length in there. If you also want the smalls to go to 100%, you could also say 12, 12, 12, but I recommend keeping it this way because if you take it out, it'll then default back to that 100% length. So you can start writing multiple column lengths depending upon which size of a breakpoint that you want. Now the last thing I wanna show you is basically notice how there's spacing inside this area on the left and invariably on the right hand side. But what if I wanna take out that spacing so the text is flush to the left hand side? There are a myriad of ways you can utilize these columns and grids on this page. But the one I wanna focus on right now is the no gutters. So what I wanna do is I wanna copy this code. It's about halfway down the page on the bootstrap documentation. And for an edge to edge design inside the container, I'm gonna copy. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna write the word no gutters and it's gonna bring in the calls to focus on. So what I wanna do is, inside of my custom CSS, I'm gonna paste no gutters. I'm gonna take the word no gutters without the period and put it inside of the row. I'm gonna say row no gutters. And now when I come up here and save it, notice how the columns stick right to the edge of the design. And just like that, now I have flushed text on all of the corners without any margins or padding. This is if you want it right up against the edge. And of course, it's only really viable if I were to have these boxes of text. If I were to take those out by commenting them, it's really not really viable to see the gutters. So this is an option if you wanna do it. It's not always required but there are options. Take a look also on this page and see what fits for you. Every design is different. No two designs I've ever built are the same. Here's once again, call SM6, call middle eight, call six, call middle four. So once again, you can move things around, change things around and take a look at how they work. But I wanted to show you the basics of how grids with rows and columns work inside of Bootstrap.